We're now in the Certified Nursing Assistant Program here at the Branch Area Career Center. Janine Bignell, the Program Director, is with us. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about the program. We're also going to demonstrate uh, some of the skills that you uh, teach the students, but right. give me kind of an overview. Okay. Um, certified Nursing Assistant Program is for students who are interested in a patient care job. Um, nursing assistants are hired at long-term care facilities, hospitals, assisted living facilities, and basically what they do is all of the personal care for residents and patients that they can't do for themselves. Anything from feeding, toileting, bathing, um, things like that. So they learn all of, all of those things and at the end they can get a state certification. So is this uh, really a hands-on program all throughout? I mean I know you have some book work but yes. a lot of hands-on. Yes, it's very academic but it's very hands-on as well. They'll be learning 15 individual skills that are necessary to care for patients in long-term care. And as we talk about uh, the particular care and we talk about um, you know the the baby boom generation, uh, this is an area you know a job, a career that is really uh, kind of exploding a little yes, bit. Yes, it is. Um, in fact, there's a shortage of nursing assistants, so they'll probably be able to get a job wherever they go. As people are aging, um, we stay healthier longer, and we're also uh, able to replace joints and things like that, and so people need rehabilitation and long-term care, and that's where uh, Cena's are really um, going to be able to get a job. All right, well, I'm going to step out, okay. and we're going to have you uh, just talk with the kids and show okay. them uh, one of the skills that you teach here in the class. Okay, sounds good. Okay, this is just one of the skills that the CNAs will be learning. I have Edgar Luano with me and Brianna Ballou, and we are going to be moving this patient up in bed. This patient um, is not able to do this for herself, and you can see that she has scooched down in bed a little bit, and we wanna move her so that she is back in a normal position in the bed. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do, you see that we put the pillow at the top so she doesn't hit her head, and we are gonna bring down her blankets a little bit, and always make sure that you have privacy for your patient, okay? Make sure everything is covered. So what you're gonna do, I'll show you first, Brianna, and then you guys can do it, okay? So Edward, or Edgar, go ahead and grab a hold of the draw sheet, bring it close to your patient's body, okay? And we're gonna tell her, Mrs. Smith, we're gonna move you up in bed. You don't have to do anything. We're gonna do it all for you. Okay, Edgar, on the count of three, we're gonna lift and move her up to, the, up to her pillow, okay? So one, two, three. Okay. And then after you do that, you spread everything back out. We don't want any wrinkles under our patient because that can cause pressure sores. Okay. And then get her comfortable. You okay, Mrs. Smith? Okay. And let's cover her back up. Okay. And you just make her comfortable. We would put the bed rails back up. We would make sure that she had her call light in reach and that she had everything that she needed here at her bedside. Okay? Would you guys like to try it? Sure. Okay. So go ahead. I'll just watch this time. So this is just one of the many skills that kids will be learning. Um, this is a very easy skill. We have some difficult skills at well, as well, but they will be learning 15 to 16 different skills for caring for patients. So let's just take a look and see how they do here. Yep, make sure that you have the draw sheet close to the patient. And make sure one of you counts to three. Mrs. Smith, we're going to move you back up to your Nice pillow. job. Uh, you don't have to do anything. So on the count of three, one, two, three. Very nice. Okay, make sure all the blankets and sheets and everything are smoothed out. Okay, and what would you do after this, guys? You put a call light on. Absolutely. And always ensure your patient's comfort. I always ask them, are you comfortable or is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, nice job, guys. Well, although it seems like a, a simple skill to have, but that is a very important skill. I've been in a hospital bed many times in my day, and uh, that is one of the things that kind of refreshes the patient yes. and everything. So. Absolutely. Um, and imagine if you're an elderly patient, you're weaker, your jo joints and your muscles aren't working as well, and a simple thing like scooching down in bed can be uncomfortable. So oftentimes we do have to put people back up into the position that they were in. Mm -hmm. Just one of the simple skills that we do here. And um, we go all the way up to, as I said, bathing and showering and um, feeding. So Now is this a two-year program or what is it? It, it can be a two-year program. They, it's, it's best if they come in as a junior 
and then um, at the end of their junior year, they can have that certification. Then they can either get a job, an OJT job at one of the nursing homes, or they can go on to Helen Castle's program where they can do either health practicum or health academy. So we're, I'm grooming these students for that second year. All right. Certified Nursing Assistant Program here at the Branch Area Career Center. Janine McNeil, thank you for being thank with you. us. Thank you. All right. For BACC-TV, I'm Tim Hart-Haberl.